Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Matthew. Uh, welcome back with another episode of Waddy's channel. Uh, today, we're digging right back into the uh, Q&A session video. And I got quite a few good ones here today. Uh, so I got a few different questions here that I'm kind of looking at. And uh, one of them, uh, my buddy Rob, uh, he and I served together, I don't know, 15 years ago or so. Uh, we just reconnected a few years ago and he's been, you know, he's been watching my videos every now and then. And, uh, you know, he sends a message or gives a phone call and, you know, gives me some updates. Some of the things that he'd like to see uh, on the channel and... Um, he also uh, left me uh, a specific question. Uh, well, not too specific. Uh, that's that's the problem with it. Uh, so one of the questions he asked me was, "What are the plans for the future?" And that's kind of a, a broad uh, question because, uh, again, I didn't get too uh, into it, so I didn't really know if he meant personally, "What are my goals?" Uh, you know, "What are the objectives I'm trying to accomplish in the future." Or is, was he talking about uh, this particular channel, uh, goals for this channel, uh, what I plan on doing in the future? But it is a YouTube channel, YouTube video, so uh, I'll answer it on behalf of, you know, what are my plans for, you know, my YouTube channel in the future. So, uh, you know, I wasn't, you know, crazy thinking that, hey, I was going to get a million people joined up in, in, in no time. I, I kind of gave myself like a, a five-year gap so essentially i'll kind of look at it as you know five years down the road you know I'm, I'm probably estimating if i put out three videos i don't know three let's say one video every three days you know sometimes i might go a week or two weeks before uh, i'm able to put out a new video so i estimate that's gonna give me about 100 videos uh per year so right now that's the goal uh somewhere in, the, in line of 100 plus videos per per year and uh at about five years, I'm going to have to look back and, you know, uh, take a look at where I'm at as far as uh, credibility on this channel. I just don't want to be looking back, you know, five years down the road and uh, have 100 subscribers because that tells me that, hey, I'm doing something wrong. Um, not able to you know, really capture the audience the way that I'd like. So... This right here, I've said it from the very first video, you know, this channel was created because uh, I really enjoyed watching all those, you know, uh, my favorite LJN tournament videos, and I, it was fun. I wanted to do something similar, and uh, so that's where I started. You know, I didn't know what my, uh, what the impact would be uh, as far as viewership. I wanted to do something for fun. Uh, to me, it was never a business. You know, it's not something where I come on here looking to, to turn a profit or anything. But at the same time, I'm kind of like on, on the same boat as, you know, so many other people. You know, this, to me, it's enjoyment. But at the same time, it, it actually is, you know, work. You still got to come down here, so got to make the video. And you still got to be able to post it, you know. Um, so... If I reached the broad audience that I'm hoping I can, you know, I'm, you know, five years down the road, I, I think I, I'll probably be at a point where I'd probably hit a thousand subscribers, and I think maybe a year after that, maybe six months, I'd probably hit two thousand, maybe uh, another six months to a year to, for another three thousand. Am I always, you know, looking at the subscriber list every single time, you know, ticked off that the number's gone up or down? You know, the most movement I see is downward movement, so I'm actually losing a lot of more people than I am gaining, but again, you know, I, it's one of those things where you're kind of, you know, really excited about this close-knit community, you know, you you know the people, you know my name, you can, you know, address them, address, you know, address their concerns or questions. But at the same time, you, you want to make sure that you're actually appealing to, to other folks. Otherwise, you're just basically doing it for yourself, and what fun is that? <laughs> So, uh, five years down the road, that's kind of what I'm looking at for, uh, as far as considering a success or not. But at the same time, uh, making this channel has essentially cost me a fortune. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, well, you know, YouTube is free, creating an account is free, making a video is free, uploading, you know, it, it's all at no cost. But remember... With this channel, it, it's basically centers around collections, uh, different lines, different figures, what have you. 
and I just can't keep making the same LJN type style video or Hasbro style video every single time. It becomes boring, it becomes redundant, and I, I need new material. Uh, that's why I kind of dove in and started acquiring all these different lines, you know, different uh, series. One, they bring enjoyment for me, so I'm, I'm super glad to have them. But at the same time, I know I'm also going out and I'm acquiring additional figures that I probably don't need. Uh, because, A, again, I enjoy them, but I also want to be able to provide new content for the viewers. You know, that way they're not just looking at the same thing over and over again. So I do try to do different series, you know, uh, stuff that I say, stuff the wife says. Uh, that didn't go over too well. Recently, I tried my hand at a, a little, well, that was, wasn't really a Karen video per se. I put Karen in the title because, let's be honest, I, I think a lot more people would gravitate towards that type of video uh, if, if that's what they thought it was. Uh, it was just a humorous video that I, that's been sitting in my lap for the last two or three weeks. And I finally decided to go ahead and put it up for, uh, you know, for the audience, uh, get some enjoyment out of it. Uh, so maybe I'll do something like that again, uh, find some really humorous things to add to the channel. But and I don't see that being something that's going to be uh, pretty redundant or pretty abundant uh, in the future. Uh, like I said, uh, it's getting excessively expensive for me to, to keep going out and acquiring figures to, to make new videos. And, you know, I really love being able to do these, these reviews, but at some point I'm going to have to come up with different ideas as far as, uh, what I'm looking at as far as storytelling. I mean, that's what it comes down to different ideas, uh, different concepts. It doesn't have to be simply collections you know i talked about wanting to do baseball or something but i kind of thought about it the other day uh, i've been home pretty much full time uh, the last couple years 21 22 and i pretty much haven't watched a single game of baseball I haven't even gone onto the cubs website to to read about transactions or, or news or anything so i don't even know if i even consider myself a fan anymore uh, just basically what they did to that team just kind of irritated me and now I just can't really follow the sport anymore but so that's where I'm at right now uh, still gonna come down here do my diligence put the stuff out for you guys because again you know I love the little messages I love being able to respond you know I get a kick out of it I, I always have and hopefully always will so this particular question is going longer than I'd like but Maybe I'll extend the video to about 30 minutes. That way I could get to a few more questions. So uh, several videos ago, I did mention I wanted to go back and redo a, a LJN tournament. So I kind of did myself in the first time around. I mean, there were just so many obstacles, just kind of going back and reviewing my old videos and uh, a lot of things that, you know, were bothering me. So I don't know if they bother others who may have seen them. So I was just starting off, it was the first time I ever made videos, and I don't want to say it was uh, a lack of comfort per se, I just didn't know really what I wanted to say, how I wanted to talk about the figures per, uh, per se, so uh, being down here at the time, I didn't have the extra lighting, so the videos were a lot of, were really dark, so it just, and it, they were my very first videos, so I didn't have anybody really uh, subscribed at the time, so... Um, when I started making the videos, I was making a bunch of them until I finally figured out how to do the upload, which was, you know, super simple once I once I got a hang of it. So, a lot of people weren't able to really gravitate towards those early videos, and that's why I talk about, you know, a four or five month old video having like 10 views, 15 views, whereas something I may have posted, you know, two weeks ago has 300 views, for example. And, and that's something I'm kind of looking forward to. Uh, I, I just want to be able to post a video and come back like two hours later and have like 500 views. I mean, that right there would, would be sensational. That's obviously a goal. I Yes, I want to keep things close-knit to the point where I can actually be able to know everybody by name and kind of respond. You know, I don't want to have 10,000 people leaving messages and then I can't respond to everyone because then I just feel terrible about it. I, I try my best to respond to every comment, but at some point... You know, it's like, imagine you got somebody out here who's got 30 million subscribers and they got 10,000 views or 10,000 comments. They're not going to have any, I mean, nobody's really reading that comment. And I kind of feel like, you know, if you, my viewers are leaving comments and nobody's responding, 
you know, you just kind of like wasted your time. So uh, that's why I kind of want to show my appreciation and, and, you know, show my love for, you know, you guys taking the time out to, you know, go ahead and respond and, and you know, show interest in my videos and whatnot. So I do want to come back and redo those LGN tournaments. Is it going to happen? Probably 97% chance. The answer is no. I had 132 figures, I think, at one point because I was doing uh, resin and rubber custom figures as well as originals. And now with the amount of figures I've acquired since then, I'm probably at somewhere around the neighborhood of 200 figures. And if I'm making that video or making those videos, I'm still going to come out with probably... I don't know how many times I'm going to buy other figures uh, while I'm making those videos. So I, I estimate if it took 26, 27 videos for the first time, it'll probably come out to be 40 or 50 videos uh, next time around. And I was doing like five matchups, so I was thinking maybe bring it up to eight matches per video. And maybe that way I can eliminate a ton of additional uh, videos and kind of get it down to 30, 35 videos. But what I'm not going to do... The second time around, if I do make that choice to, to make those type of videos again, I'm still going to kind of intervene in between, kind of make out, make different videos, like the comparable figure videos. I, I really like doing those. I still want to give, you know, the praise videos because to me, that's that's the highlight for me is to go out and give recognition to these amazing uh, sellers and artists and, uh, you know, the Q&A video, why not? So... It, they won't be one after the other until it's done. There will be gaps in between. But the thing you guys got to realize, it, you're not going to be looking at three or four weeks in between uh, uploads. If I did that, it'd probably be I'd probably be posting two or three videos per week, if not more. So, but uh, I'm gonna cut that kind of questionnaire uh, short because <laughs> we're at 12 minutes already. <sighs> Man, I'm not even, to be honest, if you met me in person, I'm not even that big of a talker, but when I get on the computer, it's just so much easier, you know? So, again, Bucky749, amazing subscriber, love his questions, and he has some pretty amazing ones. Uh, I'm going to start off with one of the middle questions. I'm not going to answer all of them, just a few of them that I selected. Uh, I wanted to add a couple more questions in here, but I think we're going to probably take it past 20, 25 minutes, so uh, I'm going to probably do about three of them here. So this question I really like. Uh, first monster movie you ever owned? So that's an interesting question. Obviously, I've said it before. I don't have the best memory in the world, and it's really hard for me to go back and, and think about, you know, what was the very first monster movie? Are we talking about first mo uh, monster movie we owned as a, as kids, or first movie I bought as an adult? So. My household growing up was far different than your average uh, prototypical family. You know, most, you know, two-year-olds and three-year-olds, you know, they're put in front of the TV, they're watching Sesame Street, what have you. In my household, <laughs> at three years old, I'm watching Michael Myers shove his thumb through a guy's forehead. <laughs> I, I think that's the reason why my wife says I'm, I'm, I'm very desensitized a lot of the time. Why horror movies don't really do anything to me as far as like grossed out or anything is because that's basically what I was raised on and you could always depend on a, a horror movie to be solid even low budget B movies are you know better than most I mean how often are you gonna go out and find a really good you know comedy or what whatnot so it's you, you always get great movies from from horror so I always gravitate uh, in that direction uh, towards that genre so uh, growing up Obviously, we had all the major slashers, slasher movies, you know, everything from Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Hellraiser, what have you. Now, it'd be an easier question uh, if it was like, hey, what was the first DVD you ever bought? I think DVDs came out when, 99, maybe 2000, something like that. I think 2002, uh, American Pie Part 2 came out on DVD, and that was the very first DVD I ever bought. And we didn't have a DVD player at the time, but we did have a PS2, so I remember buying that movie. You know, I was 17, I was working, so, you know, I you know, bought it with my own money. And as you can see, the horror collection back here. So basically everything in this little middle section, that's all horror movies, you know, complete sets of the movie. Uh, well, actually, I think I'm missing the last Halloween movie, but... So, uh, a lot of your, your major slasher movies... Um, 
trying to think if there's anything that really stands out. You know, I've talked about Monster Squad before. Not really a slasher movie. And I don't know if I can necessarily classify that as a horror movie even. Not really. Even though, even Monster Squad to me has like one of the best werewolves. That's that's one I didn't mention uh, in the previous Q&A video. So, yeah. Uh, pretty much had all my VHSs, you know, store-bought VHS tapes. I had my blank VHS tapes that, you know, I recorded off, you know, off cable. And then I would have my DVDs when they came along years later. And, of course, uh, we moved from our house in Texas and uh, stuff went into storage. My wife came back to Texas after uh, she left uh, Chicago. And uh, we, she bought her house while I was on deployment, threw away all my VHS tapes, which I really hated because there are just so many great <laughs> movies that you're never going to find uh, nowadays, either streaming, DVD, what have you. So... Having those on VHS was great. Um, that just took... That was just very disappointing. So now I'm essentially pretty much all DVDs now. I have recently started collecting some uh, wrestling VHS tapes. And I bought a few other VHSs just, as, just so that I could have something for uh, the newly acquired VCR. Which, I bought two of them now and neither one works. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, here was a really good one. Crypt Keeper or Rod, Ser uh, Rod Serling, uh, who is the better anthology host? So Rod Serling, uh, I thought, for a moment when I first saw that question, I kind of like th think like, like, who's Rod Serling? Then after about half a second, I realized, oh wait, uh, Twilight Zone. Uh, so in the late 50s, early 60s, the original Twilight Zone, black and white. That man just had the greatest voice for, for TV. You know, he's like one of those guys who not only hosts TV shows or, or game shows or something. You know, he had the voice for uh, for TV, essentially, or TV or radio. But for this particular question, I have to go with the Crypt Keeper. You know, to me, he's got that creepiness that I love from horror. And he's got the wittiness and humor. So I, And plus, you know, I'm more familiar, you know, with the more modern day, even though, I don't know. 30 years old, uh, 30 plus years old that is the Tales from the Crypt series. So um, I'm obviously more familiar with that than something from 50s, 60s, Twilight Zone. I mean, I did watch Twilight Zone, obviously reruns. They're probably still airing the 1960s uh, Twilight Zone today, but they, they probably come out with three different sets of Twilight Zone uh, series. But I think nothing can really top the originals. All right, so next question. Uh, who besides Dracula would you choose to be king of the monsters? I thought about that for a good long while. And uh, I really couldn't come up with a really solid answer. I think because most monsters, you know, your, your creature from the Blue Lagoon, for example, or, you know, your werewolves. I mean, you, these monsters don't have, I guess, the, well, I don't want, I don't want to say mental capacity, but they don't have speech and what have you. So... How can anyone other than Dracula really uh, lead a team of monsters? Now you could say, well, Frankenstein talks, but he's he's got strength, but he's also very slow and doesn't really have the mental capacity there to, to be a leader. You know, you can't choose the mummy. You know, so there really, who else? So I thought maybe looking outside the box, monsters don't have to be a prototypical 1920s monsters. You know, your big Hollywood-type monsters. You know, you could look at an alien. An alien could be a monster. You know, you know why not? Or, I don't know, a uh, Swamp Thing. I mean, Swamp Thing is obviously a... You know, what is that? Is that Marvel? Or is that, no, that's, I think that's DC. So, superhero. So, yeah, I don't know if you'd necessarily clarify, classify him as a monster in this particular in instance. Uh, a couple things I thought about... You know, Godzilla <laughs> is is an awesome monster, but again, not exactly capable of leading anyone. Uh, one I thought about, I don't know, again, if you would classify this in the same category, uh, Lucifer. Uh, the devil, to me, would be uh, a perfect answer. Not necessarily the monster in the prototypical sense when you're dealing with mummies and and Frankenstein monsters and stuff like that, but 
I mean, to me, that would be the perfect uh, choice. You know, you really can't have a ghost or anything on there. So, you know, why not? You know, for, for me, Lucifer would be my top answer for uh, the best leader of a monster squad. Huh, monster squad. I didn't even intend to kind of put that out there, but it, it works. <laughs> All right. Um, this one is one of the first questions he, he wrote. If you could go back in time and make LJN create one figure to add, what is this? Ah, to series one, who would it be and why? Hmm. So series one came out in 84, 85 era. That's a tough one because any, any wrestler that I could think of from that time, time period is already made. Obviously, born in 85, you know, I really wouldn't be really familiar with wrestling uh, characters until, you know, really late 80s, early 90s when I really, when I actually started watching wrestling. You know, I could say something like, uh, I want the Rockers as LJN. Were they around in 1984, 85? If they were, probably AWA, uh, Midnight Rockers. So, maybe... But, I mean, AWA and obviously WWF, you can't really, you know, mix and match that way. So, as far as coming up with someone uh, during that time period, I guess something like a Bob, well, here's the thing. Ram Treasures made a Bob Backlund, you know, a few months back. So, would I be cheating by, say, Bob Backlund? Uh, and I, I was Bob Backlund even wrestling in 85 because... You know, I've watched a lot of old footage. I don't remember seeing him. You know, I take it back. I did see him in 84 wrestling Hulk Hogan. So, yeah, Bob Ackland, why not? Uh, I think that would be a, a solid answer. And at that point, if they did that, you know, Ram Treasures would never had to make a, a figure like that. All right, guys. So, we're at 22 minutes. Uh, there was actually a number of questions here I have yet to go through. But I, I don't want to make these videos exceptionally long. Uh you know, obviously, I've said it before, I'm always very uh, weary of your guys' time. So, you know, if anyone comes out and says, hey, we want you to make an hour video, shoot, I could put an hour video together, trust me. <laughs> but uh, I try to keep them as short and sweet as I possibly can, uh, given the circum uh, circumstance and what type of video I'm making. So, I am going to be making a few more videos, hopefully tonight. So, this is just the, today is... Uh, Sunday the 14th of August so it is my goal to make at least three videos tonight I'm probably going to come back with two more uh, comparable LJN videos and uh, with those with this video those two videos and the two I've already made I will have about four or five videos uh, in, in queue so I will probably see those posted over the next uh, two weeks or so all right, everyone, uh, thank you so much again for watching. Uh, if you have any additional questions, always please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, like Bucky, hey, brother, keep doing what you're doing, brother. I really love the questions, and uh, and I'll, I'm glad that I'm able to answer some of them. I know you've got quite a few more that I'm missing, so hopefully in the next video I'll be able to uh, answer those on your behalf as well. <laughs> All right, thanks, everyone. Talk to you all soon.